Hello and welcome to Crusading Through Part 3. I'm Jim. I'm Sam. And this is our official Joe Kakaka Part 3 JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders discussion podcast. Yes. We're reading Stardust Crusaders. Yes. <laughs> we found that we like the manga better. I like the manga better than the anime. I like the manga a lot. Um, so we're talking about the Bastet fight. Or is this... So I read the official Shonen Jump's uh, version, and it refers to her as Bast. Yeah, mine uh, as well. It refers to the, the stand as Bast, and then Mariah as Mariah. But in Egyptian, is, Egyptian lore is usually Bastet a lot of time. The goddess of... Or, well, the goddess that takes the form of a cat. Yes. I actually don't know what Bastet's gimmick is as a god. It's a cat. Cat girl. The original, the original cat girl. I know that she has a pounce when she does her one. <laughs> That's why she does a smite. Uh, when she does her two, she summons a cat. That's not even true. Um, but whatever. So, JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes. We read it. We did it. Um, we're back again. Um, I enjoyed this chapter. I thought, or this uh, yeah, section. I thought this was funny. Any I... more Joseph uh, stuff is great. Joseph and Abdul are great to have This together. is kind of like the last... Is this like the last Joseph? No, he does stuff in Darby, I guess. He's yeah. kind of the focus of Darby. Yeah, well, yeah, the second Darby fight. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, Bastet Wait, also- the first one. Actually, both, I guess. Yeah, because he helps cheat in the gamer. But he also is the one that's like doing the gambling tricks. Yeah. So yeah, Bastet, also called Bass, uh, worship in the form of a lioness and later a cat. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, trying to find like a little like summary of like what she's also like the goddess of, because like how all gods are, they're usually just like, the god of like 10 different things. Yeah, there's always like a lot of double dipping with gods. It's like, oh yeah, I do like music and dance and the sun and sometimes harvesting. To try and like, I maybe she's just cats right now. Is that like? <laughs> well, as far as I know, oh. she's uh, the goddess of electricity because that is the name of the game. Uh, uh, the name of the stand. Yeah, she was the patron goddess of firefighters. <laughs> she got the Egyptians believe that a cat running through a building on fire would draw all the flames out. Firefighters? She, she was a patron saint for firefighters. At all right, I did was, watch Premier last night. She was so. also one of the goddesses who was known as the Eye of Ra. All right, so. I can't tell you what that means, but <laughs> abilities. <laughs> abilities. All right, we are talking about Smite. <laughs> <laughs> it literally brought up Smite. <laughs> <laughs> Her her three her three is a bleed effect. I cannot talk. Her three is a bleed cone. She, got, she went through a rework. Okay, I, I can't believe she didn't bring us. All right, we need to talk about the manga then. Uh, symbol: the lioness cat ointment jar, <laughs> solar disc. Great, great. You're welcome. You can thank so, you later. <laughs> we we find our heroes in the Valley of Kings in Egypt. We are very close to Cairo, I guess. I don't Almost really know. there. We go. Yeah, we get a little bit of a tour. A um, little name drop of um, Tutankhamun himself. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but Tutankhamun actually translates to uh, Two-Ton Common Com- Rider. Oh. He's actually the first wow. Common Rider. Wow, Jim. He's huge. That, that's, that's a great stretch. <laughs> Did you almost believe me no. for a sec? Okay. I thought you were going to go more crude. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have a little history lesson. We have more uh, bathroom humor with Paul and our and Joseph. Actually, more so with Joseph. Well, yeah, um, well Ponov's like, well, he goes like, oh, do you need to go, Ponov? He's like, only if it's a normal bath. And then we see Joseph have many of his oh my god moments. With so, like... <laughs> we have to talk about this bathroom. So, apparently, it's literally just a hole that you shit in. Yes. That it, it's so dry here in, in uh, the Valley of Kings that the shit dries. It's a wind toilet. Joseph calls it a wind toilet. A wind toilet. Is this... Do I, have my... I don't have my phone on me. Do I? No, I don't. Um, I don't have my phone on me. I can't look up whether wind toilet is real. I'm not looking up the wind toilets on my phone. Um, I'm going to just assume that it is. Uh, Any wind toilet experts can let us know. So, yeah, it dries out the poop and then apparently turns into dust. Uh, and then you wash your hands with sand. This feels like a Rocky was lied to. It really does. <laughs> I feel like a Rocky was tricked by some guy to shit in a hole and wipe his shitty hands with sand. Because yeah, it's, like, it's like in a coffee like a, like a coffee container. Yeah. And it says, like, the sand, is, the sand in the desert is bacteria-free. Which, which I'm like, is, I mean, like, sure. Not when you, not when people are using it to. And it's not like a way. You know, how, like, sand is coarse, rough, and it gets everywhere. I don't know why you would like wash your hands in sand. That uh, would suck. I think like I, I think desert sand is like it's super fine, so it doesn't really stick to your hand the same way that like it's just weird, like beach coarser beach sand. I know, like. but still, it just like I don't want to like that's like the last thing I want to do. But I do like Joseph. Like I'm not like I'm pulling a polenar. He like gets call. He literally makes polenar's name like a like a verb. Polenar is kind of like the butt of a lot of jokes in this section. <laughs> he's, he's the bathroom joke. 
He's uh, cursed. But then he looks out and he sees the iconic <laughs> Bastet uh, uh, plug. The the, <laughs> the, bu- <laughs> the bu- plug. No, the, the electrical outlet. the electrical outlet. I love you. how simple this and weird this is. This is the most obvious. Like this is a stand thing, but you're gonna be stupid because your curiosity killed the cat. Joseph literally <laughs> walks up, touches it as soon as he can. Doesn't even think. He's like, I need to touch this as quick as I can. Yeah. So. Hey guys, I, read, I was trying to look at, like some like, anything about Bastet, but only thing I saw was like Rocky was like inspired to make Bastet after writing like a manuscript about Tesla, Nikolai huh. Tesla. I guess he just had electricity on the brain. Probably, yeah. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. But yeah, it just it's just like a one plug outlet with like, like a, with like a with a with a button on it, and then just pl- it's like a wire plugging into it for nothing. It's I'd... absolutely insane that Joseph's takeaway here is not this is a stand. It's I guess they have some cables running underground, like. Bitch, it's a well, fucking rock. Because Absol does say, "Oh yeah, because the, the the grave robbers' family still live here, and they're rumored to like dig under their houses. Like, do you think like they had like electricity into a rock for no reason?" There's absolutely no reason why that he's he's just being so fucking dumb here. It's hilarious, but yeah, he gets launched back like twenty feet. And I I do love the best that Alan just smokes like a little bit. Like, yeah, I love that. <laughs> the stupid, the stupid the outlet face, dangerous electricity. And it's also it's also an outlet that's like. It's like not like any kind of outlet because they're all like like the thinnest like rectangles like they're not like you can actually plug something in there. Well, it might actually be like a different kind of outlet. Yeah, I wonder if like maybe Japan had like diff like different kind of like outlet like look compared to us. Uh, they well, I don't know if you have ever seen European outlets. No, but European outlets are big, two pronged. There, so and that's not the big switches that you could like that you press one like on the bottom and it's like like two switches on the top, one on the bottom. You kind of press it. <coughs> Because my grandmom's house has that kind of thing. No, like... they have those too. But for the out- outlets themselves, like European outlets are, they're round. So all the plugs are completely round and they just have two prongs. They don't have like the ground. You know, we have like the two thin ones. The yeah. European ones have two cylindrical prongs that go in. Um, I think the Eastern Europe, like if you go way farther east in Europe, uh, there's a, a different one. Because I know that when I bought, because when I went to Austria, I had to like oh, buy. Oh, yeah. It is weird. So maybe Northern Africa has a, has a different type of uh, electrical electrical prong outlet i could believe that style maybe it's like a middle <laughs> like a central so what's it called like east eastern asian or not eastern asian there's, there's western a, there's asian a picture thing. of a bunch of like different kind of like electrical stocks of like outlets and everything like i guess you could believe it, it could be literally whatever yeah i'm sure i mean it's also like iraqi could have just been clever with the design and just he was looking up a lot of like electromagnetic stuff anyway doing this. What I think is interesting is what is that thing on top? Is that supposed to be a switch? Do you think it looks like, like a button? Like that's a button like, that you so you're, press? So you're curious, like the press it and maybe like you've, that's you... actually brilliant because people see buttons and the instinct is I must press. Yes, exactly. <laughs> how you get how she gets stupid people? But yeah, he gets shocked like, huh, that was weird. And we see uh, Mariah for the first time. Mariah is so good. Her design is great. Mariah is one of those characters that is literally like fully formed perfectly. Like no redesign should be made to this character Sun- ever. Sunglasses, the the cool hooded clo- cloak she wears is like awesome. Her lips look great. I love seeing big lipped ladies. Even in like the whole horse anime. chapter later on, she looks great. But uh, so apparently in the manga, Mariah's name in Japanese was really spelled M A R A I Y A. Mariah. Yeah. It was changed to you know uh, Mar- Mariah, but uh, you still but you can still see it in like on her stand and her retire card later on. Oh, but they they fixed them in later publications of it. So the original thing was like kind of spelled like that. Oh, so I'm reading the Shonen, the actual one that's on Shonen Jump. Yeah, so this is, it, it probably would be yeah. the text version then. But yeah, this is that it, it was originally spelled different. Apparently, I thought it was pretty funny or pretty interesting. Mm. And she does say the funny line. Uh, you know what they say? Curiosity killed the cat because. She is a fucking cartoon character, and she has to say a few certain lines. And this, because on like, my she says like, uh, "Boys always want to touch things that aren't supposed to." Oh, that's funny. Oh yeah, we Sam and I I guess read different versions. Yeah, Sam read the colored uh, adventure version. Yeah. Um, I just was reading this one for convenience because I, I pay the two dollars a month for <laughs> Shine and Jump, and get my I get two dollars worth. I have to get my two dollars worth. Yeah, I have to say, I definitely do. I mean, both either one are boy, are, are correct because <laughs> you go the cheaper like way or just like yeah, people are. St- People want to press but boys want to press stuff that you aren't supposed to. Like, don't press the giant red button. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press that button. Especially uh, Joseph, he's <clears> most likely to press something he's not supposed to. I mean, yeah, that's the first thing he did was. <laughs> so yeah, so he he starts like, his his metal hand starts acting up. With, uh, he's like the usual. I press the hands acting up like usual. I'm like that's a usual thing for you. <laughs> I like how he's like oh, I just need to oil it or I something. Just, I just got a new one. 
Also, this one funny line where it's just like the rate because he's magnetic and the radio is like static and you know, all acting up. And, and then, like, he goes, It's made in Japan. I just bought it. And, like, that's the J Japan's like the reason why your, your things should not be broken. Yeah, it's, it's the idea that like the Japanese radio is so perfect <laughs> that it could not have any issues whatsoever. <laughs> the ja- Japanese. And a radio that you're keeping outside in the desert where wind and sand are being blown everywhere all the time. Oh, no, Jap- Japanese prep for that. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they, they seal every part <laughs> so that sand and dirt can't get in there. Um, but yeah, he's getting shit stuck on him. He's got the cola. I like all the little debris that's just on Joseph the whole time. He's yeah, got the little cola caps on him. And he said the, I told him they'll be in Cairo in about two days. So we have a couple a couple more fights before we get to there. But uh, but yeah, it's just we see like, things slowly forming as they go to the hotel. We see like the, like a, like a carpenter. Or like this guy like making some crates and like the the nails in his mouth like the hammer flies out of his hand but the nails go through his mouth and it's like fucking brutal. I love that. It's so it's one of those things like because you start seeing all these things happen like as soon as they leave the radio goes back to normal and then yeah like you when I saw that the nails in his mouth because I for, I've forgotten a lot about the anime since I've seen it but I saw that I was like oh oh <laughs> oh oh that's why I don't like putting nails in my mouth when I'm nailing things. Yeah, because in case a, man- a giant magnet comes by, it's gonna rip through your face. Hey, you never fuck. Fought- you can never be too careful. Sam. And then the hammer goes for like Joseph, and then like Abdul catches it like in his eyes are closed, and like just gets it. It's so hilarious that Abdul catches it here because I thought for sure it was gonna be Paul Nareff with his fast stand cutting the hammer, or, 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 or Paul Nareff and Jodor who had Jodor who's an incredibly fast. Both stand. of them have incredibly fast stands. No. Abdul with his bare fucking fingers grabs it. <laughs> and what, then, as you said, and with then, his eyes closed. And then they just think, oh, yeah. he goes, it's dangerous to throw a hammer. I'm like, wow, thanks, Polonar. And yeah, it's, I love they're like <laughs> shitting on this guy who's got like 10 nails like jutting He's out. He's obviously like, yelling in pain. Yeah. But yeah, then we're at, we're at the hotel. Classic hijinks ensue. And this, this is the, the hijinks ensue chapter because. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so Joseph like switches. Oh, I don't think we said. Sorry, this is like probably a bad time. But these are chapters eighty six to ninety one. I thought we did mention that. I, I don't remember if I did. But yeah, just like true guy, uh, the it's like when you're when you're staying over with a bunch of friends and you have the two friends who wake up way earlier and want to get breakfast, so they just yell. They're already ready to go, and you're just waking up. Like Joseph's like in his underwear, but still wearing his polo, like in bed. It's hilarious. It's funny because it's like his polo is covered in shit still. Like he still has all the shit on him. Also, he just he's just spun around like completely in his bed as well. Yeah, apparently he's like tossing and turning all night. I guess it's supposed to be like how magnets like magnets, yeah, reverse or whatever. I don't know. And they don't really do too much with the whole magnets thing, like being like reverse polarity. I thought they were gonna do more with that. Get attacked by a chair, attacked by like the little like coat, the coat rack. He like lifts up a woman's metal skirt because everybody's just wearing metal on his day. He, he gets the white one white woman that's like in this random town in white Egypt. Woman. In my colored version. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I was like, why would you assume she's white? Right? And then, but she has the funny thing because her face just morphs into a fucking like, f- like spiky like teeth lady. Calls her a pervert. He gets punched. We have the funny old lady that like also thinks he's like she's like hit, he's like hitting on him or hitting on her. So fun fact, and because I know in a, I, I tell you, Heritage of the Future when Alessi turns people into kids, we saw with the noobs where he doesn't turn them into like the babies for themselves. Mariah turns into this old lady when she gets hit by Alessi. <laughs> oh, I want to see what a little baby Mariah would look like. Nope, Maybe yeah, she turns into the, old, the fucking disgusting old lady that tries to, like, scrunch up, smooch him. She really wants Joseph's dick. Joseph's like, I would never cheat on my wife. <laughs> it's really funny because, like, at first you're like, oh, it's Joseph being, like, a nice guy, but then you're like, oh, no. Joseph's okay. just being, like mean to this old lady which he should rightfully so he should be he should be mean to this <laughs> old you, woman that's have you met a sex. jersey civilian they're like deserving of all this punishment and bullying um he's attacked by like forks and knives rocky really wanted to draw women in this chapter there's a ton of women in this chapter there really are it's, it's, it's or, the most women in like any single jojo chapter at any time in jojo i do love the little gag where like the forks and knives are chasing him that's very funny like he's literally like out running. He's he's doing the Joe Star secret move. The, the yeah secret technique of running. Uh, and he's out running all these so, like silverware cutlery. He moves it to the L of the escalator, and you can see Mariah like on the middle of the escalator though, mm-hmm. and it, which is really like cool little thing. I like you can that see detail. Her. Like, and uh, yeah, he kind of realizes like it was that that thing that shocked him is probably the cause of it because of course he knows. And then Mariah's like ash chains. Like wrap perfectly, like, like entangle him. I just, I just want to say, okay, so Mariah's standing perfectly in the center of the elevator. Do you think that as this is a down elevator? Do you think she was intentionally like taking steps backward and like st- trying to stay in the middle of this elevator for like twenty minutes, waiting for Joseph to come down? Probably. 
I I wouldn't put it past her. Like, but yeah, the like, lady in the skirt, in the mini skirt. Can you just uh, help me here? She's like, oh, I'm the stand user. I'm smoking on an escalator because you can smoke anywhere at the time uh, in the '80s. So okay, Rocky gets a point for having having Mariah there, but he also loses a point because you can clearly see the emergency shutoff buttons are actually where Joseph thinks they should be, but then apparently they're not. They're actually moved like okay, way genuine. further. So unless Mariah uh, has an ability where she can like, there's are three, there are buttons there, but who knows if they're the actual emergency but shut off buttons though. Why would there? What what other buttons would you have? Does it say the giant word stop on there, Jim? I don't know. But yeah, Mariah's design's great. I love her. Just like her ass chains are really. It's, it's very clever too that I, she would have like a metal cord. Oh, she is. She only comes prepared too, as we see later on with it, which is it stuff in her bra. She is. A, she is a very smart stand user, which is really cool because she's supposed to be like. Yeah. These are supposed to be like the, these, the elites. She has a weird power that she has to use like in a specific way because it is a power that that works over time. So she has to like once well, it starts picking up a little bit more, she's like obviously staying at the hotel that they're at. So. So, and she's on the escalator, so she gets just fucks him up. She also gets really ballsy too, because she needs to be kind of close. Also, like one of to, like the, lure him into traps. Also, one of the biggest fucking scary thing is getting stuck on an escalator like that. It is really scary. One uh, of the biggest fears, and the, the fact that it, the cord is also wrapped around like his neck, so he would it's die. Like, it's wrapped around his neck, his hands, so like he just like fucked. <clears throat> but also, just cuts away to like the funny guy of like all of our, all of our other characters just hanging out. Paul is smoking, which is really funny. I didn't even realize that. That's funny. <laughs> Like, he's taking so long. Like, I wonder what's taking us so long. Like, motherfucker, if anybody's taking an extra long time. Like, what do you, th- what do you think? Abdul's the only one that goes check on him because he's like, this is weird. Why Why do you think that somebody would be held up for a longer period of time? How many times have all of, like, Polnar went on, just went on his own last chapter and got attacked by Ibnubis. Like, and there's four of well, them. They, literally, they there. literally learned it by like, okay, we have a buddy system. Yes, because <laughs> there's four of them, excluding Iggy. They should always be paired off. There's Iggy, no reason why they should not always be paired literally, off. Literally, Iggy just goes off on his. Well, remember Joe, when Joseph would go poop, he took Iggy with him. That's true, he did. But and like, that lot of good that did. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. touch the fucking outlet. <laughs> did, 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 like, oh, yeah, Iggy can warn him for like other stand users. Like, yeah, I know he did. Iggy didn't really do a good job. But I think Iggy just doesn't give a shit. So but, yeah, we see him reach when we actually see him like reach with Hermit Purple. Oh, those buttons, those buttons that we saw on the other panel. Ooh, mysteriously gone. Oh, oh, now the emergency <laughs> button has moved all the way to the side. Come on, Araki, get your shit together. So and once he learns that once you touch the magnetic energy of her stand, there's no escape. And so yeah, I do I do love I love I love it. There's like Hermit Purple just like being an extra extension, but like it can't go that far. <laughs> Hermit Purple is like so shitty in this. It's very funny. Oh, he even admits it. Like my stance not that fucking strong. He keeps forgetting he has it for scenes too. It's like, <laughs> uh, oh, this is Rocky. so funny. The escalator button is like on the around the side. <laughs> but so Abdul saves him. Good old Abdul. Which we. It's funny because we actually next to it we do see an outlet. It is. It isn't Mariah's outlet, but we do see like an outlet jack. So it would make. make I believe sense that's supposed that, to be it. It just. It doesn't look the same though. It doesn't have the same design. Yeah, it like the because when long he's enough. reaching for it, it's not there. But when you see Abdul press the button, you do see it there. Yeah. For or at least it, maybe it's supposed to be the look of it going away or disappearing. It just but it doesn't have like the button part up top. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe she can control the look of it depending on it. All right, we're straight. Because 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 she's like, oh yeah, in the PowerPoint presentation that we had at Dio's Mansion, we knew Joseph's gonna press a button, so I put a <laughs> button on it. But. Abdul is just gonna press it when we ha- when he has to press the emergency button. We just need to put the outlet there. Abdul likes to have she, his eyes closed. I, I feel like she can cu- she probably be able to customize what the outlet lo- lo- can look like. Cause Stan, uh, maybe I don't know, but I, yeah. I don't care enough to fight with you on this. <laughs> Joseph basically just does some more yelling because it's funny. He thought he was gonna die, and I really this is a very funny scene. Joseph looks like an say. idiot to everybody. In front of like literally every everyone in this fucking. And then he goes like, lobby. "Oh, I was inspecting the escalator. Nothing wrong here. The button works perfectly." Uh, yeah, and I love the way he plays it off. He's he pretends like Abdul's like a hotel manager. <laughs> like he's like Abdul, we're being attacked by Stan. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? <laughs> Enemy Stan. And then like, like, oh yeah, touch an outlet, now magnetic. Then an ashtray perfectly just bumps him in the head. He's like, <laughs> his expression is really funny too. He's not even like he's like he's, like, he's not even hurt. He's just mad. He's like, the oh, fuck, man. <laughs> he's so just good. annoyed, grumpy. Of this but uh, yeah, he yeah he turned to a magnet. He's like, oh yeah, she's a stand user. We gotta go after her. And then it's <laughs> like, oh yeah, I touched the outlet. I was out there, so I'm magnetic too, essentially. Yeah, the fact that like Abdul also touched it is very funny because it's like the human nature to just touch things. But but yeah, because you, you can kind of because he didn't say it till a little bit later, but you can kind of see it like the like the the trophy or the statue like almost falls on Abdul. Oh, like, that's true. Yeah. Like you're not you're like oh maybe falling on Joseph, but it also could just be falling on Abdul because it's affecting him like slowly. He's like the closest one to it because mm. he'd be the one being magnetic because he's closer, I guess. 
Did they do a joke in the anime where he grabs like the statue's boobs by accident? Maybe. Because like, I, and, and it doesn't really look like that in here. He just kind of he grabs, grabs it. Yeah. But we do see that it has boobs. And for some reason, I remember them having like a boob joke here. Probably. They, but yeah, they go to the ladies room where the, the, the symbol for the ladies room is just three hearts. This is hilarious because that's like a modern joke about how like gender restrooms make or like the symbols on restrooms make no sense. <laughs> like sometimes it'll be like random symbols and people just have no idea um, <laughs> or like or like really bad it's just the font is really bad yeah. for it you have no <laughs> idea what they're saying yeah there's some like i don't know college humor did like a bit or something but it's like two really like the, it's like a, a dome that goes down and the other one's a it's, dome that goes up it's literally and they're like, arguing for like five minutes about what it it's is it's literally the most stressful situation you like, dread to go to a bathroom that's like <laughs> that you will not understand no matter who you are <laughs> Yeah, but there's so. no family bathroom either just to go like the brick for the middle ground. <laughs> At least this one does say ladies, but yeah. it does have three hearts. Thank on. God it has ladies, not even not in Arabic or both Arabic and English or Japanese. Also, I've not been in many ladies' restrooms, I have to say, but I've heard that they're notoriously very dirty. So this one's okay. really clean. So I worked at my old job, I had to clean up uh like restroom before and in a mess and we had to clean the ladies' room and men's room, but the ladies' room always the worst of the two. That's what I've heard. It's it's bigger. It's a bigger restroom, but they always end up clogging the bathroom way way more. I and just why. like and like it, it's it's a huge mess. Any of the fantasies of kids kids had of like the girls' room being like the cleanest like <laughs> fantasy. There's couches in there. No, it's wrong. Women are women's restroom are just filthy cesspools. <laughs> well, some do have couches, but. I meant like you said that fantasy they're, they're like lavish like things oh, yeah, that make no. the men's room but no this is like probably the cleanest looking this this lady's room is like spotless but yeah so they go in there and like like the way to find her is just as like she has at least in my trailer like, she's like she's got amazing gams look for the le- like, look for her legs you can't miss them I'm like <laughs> in this version he just says she's got great legs <laughs> that's a- really funny that he says amazing gams <laughs> in that version that's hilarious but yeah you look for the legs you see like variety of 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 like fat you see the fat legs you see like the big feet, like feet crammed inside like f- like fish nets and in, in high heels like normal shoes and then like mariah like, like a very rough kind of a mariah shield also instead of just like peeking like this crouching out ahead like, like i look at like on the ground like very <laughs> far on the ground it's very funny or, or at least like joseph like has a knee on the ground to like just turn his head down <laughs> it's very funny because they do have a moment where i was like Mr. Joestar, you don't want to go into the ladies' room, do you? It's like it's life or death, Abdul. Like, and I, also, because he also uh, Joseph like, runs to him, he just makes it all go to vacancy, which is really funny. And like you can still see the bottle cap. Which on I, his... Yeah, that, I didn't realize that's a magnet joke. Yeah. Oh, that's because really they're like, moving the locks back. Yeah. <laughs> that is really fun. I didn't even notice that. And we see all, all discussing JoJo humans. Like, and then the old lady, lo- okay. the, the gross old lady. Okay, in this one panel of like the of the big lady, she looks like Carne. Like, legit, she has, like, the big eyes, like, Carne face. <laughs> kind of. I don't see it. <laughs> she was the inspiration for Carne. But yeah, it, it, oh, in the sm- yeah, in the, she kind of does. In the, in the far, the yeah, far yeah. region one. <laughs> where, where, like, later on, yeah, then we see, they're just discussing. I like the way that the, the freckled lady looks. But they're, like, discussing JoJo. She looks like a Tim and Eric. She's, like, like a Tim and Eric, like, or, like, when, like, Tim's in, like, the, the woman outfit, like, in there. <laughs> she looks like that. Because <laughs> of my thing, she's, like, blonde, so it looks just like that. But then the, the joke is that the the, sh- the feet that look like Mariah, or the legs that look like Mariah's, were actually the old lady pervert. And then they're like... And she wants to get fucked by Joseph. Or she, she, wa- she, she wants to... Joseph would never cheat on his wife. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> He's a good husband. They do the, the hilarious uh, anime trope. Jump where, out the window. <laughs> well, they seemingly they get like thrown out the window. Like The, the women are throwing like toilet paper and shit at him. <laughs> also, there's this, this one... Uh, line where Abdul goes like this isn't me part of it's the one who should be the lady for me called a pervert yeah <laughs> Abdul is like a weird like crisis of conscious like character motivations in this episode or the, this whatever because he keeps like saying like this isn't something that I would do and then later he's like ah oh, this is more like me you know what this is this is like a cooler version of Wonder of You <clears throat> where like they have to pursue oh, her but in pursuing her she's just saying that she makes you magnetic so shit's just flying at you but there's a reason why and you kind of have to use that against her it really is just a better Wonder of You <laughs> this really is just like the hotel the original like hotel chase like they're sorry not hotel hospital. the hospital lobby yeah. Chase. yeah but like they're but they understand what's going on and like they have to stop her before it gets like to its worse where like damn <laughs> damn i'm mad i'm sorry for your your, your toru nation but but for me but the mariah gang is 
is we like her more. <laughs> we do. She's su- way hotter than Toru. I'm sorry. It's true. Uh, it's pretty close. It's I don't know. I love Mariah. Mariah's way hotter. Yeah. <laughs> if you as I said, Mariah's like fully perfect. She's like the, per- Mar- fully formed. Mariah smokes. Toru does not. And we all know smoking is cool and hot. <laughs> smoking is cool and hot, as, as I've said before. So yeah, they t- they start getting stuck together as we learn Abdul touched the outlet already, which is really funny that he brought it up out of nowhere. Yeah, it's it's funny that he's like, oh yeah, of course, like of course I touched it. <laughs> but yeah, there's it, there, that's, we, get, we get them. She does an oh, ho, 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 ho. she does. She is an oh, oh, oh sama mm, That's how we know she's even better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chef's kiss. I love a good oh ho ho. Oh, man. So hilarity ensues. I really like this little gag where they need to like learn how to like run in sync like it's it's very funny and it it, it, these gags are really good like i love the whole like we see disgusting jojo children like littered throughout this chapter i love that the the joke here is the kids are like they see this weird thing and then they go and get more kids to bring back (laughs) you see like everyone's just watching them and then we get the funny like abdul's like on his crotch and they're like it's so fucking hilarious because it's like it really does look like abdul's giving him a blowjob it's fucking hilarious (laughs) there's this famous like gif from like a a wrestling match of hulk hogan versus ultimate warrior and the camera shot has it basically like this if i could show you please please find that (laughs) But so yeah, they're desperately trying to like uh, separate themselves from the, from from each other. So they, <laughs> oh my god! Look up Hulk Hogan Ultimate Warrior gift, as, and you you'll get you'll you'll get exactly this. <laughs> Trust me. That's hilarious. But yeah, we get, we get we see all the children come around. They all they're all like snot nosed with some weird looking dogs. As so they're well. pretty clever here because they're they're trying to use a wooden fence. It's like the most conspicuously placed wooden fence. <laughs> to split themselves apart but yeah they do the also, funny sex thing it looks like they're fucking the, the children's looking this, this is one shot of the dog in the cr- in the group of the children who just looks pissed at them like <laughs> the dog looks like the incredible. dog is very mad uh, there's another part later where there's a dog that that also gets like yanked by the chain yeah dogs having punishment and the lady's like i thought you were a nice young man but you're <clears throat> A homosexual, <laughs> and then she like beats them and like basically like has power, like destroys, like knocks them into like the fucking like train. It destroys is the... uh, very funny. They like knock her off the the fence. Or they, she, she says, knocks "Go to hell, you Nancy boys." Wow, she didn't say that in my version. What did she say in your version? Um, is it something offensive? <laughs> said, How dare you toy the maiden's heart? You've been living a lie all this time. And then she hits them and they fall. You've been rolling down the hill, He's Nancy like... boys. <laughs> It's like a weird lie to have on mind. But yeah, we see Mariah looking cool smoking. As, as you do. Like the gloves on are smoking. It just, she just looks so cool. She's like one of the hottest females in JoJo. <laughs> she's really cool. And she, she still does the ugly face, but it's like literally every like bad female character in JoJo has that. Yeah, it's like the funny joke thing. But uh, but yeah, I like... <laughs> she's still smoking leisurely. But yeah, they look cool. They had to come up with a plan. They're stuck on a railroad track because this is all her part of her, her keikaku. I really love that scene too. Once they step on the railroad track, they immediately like slam back together again because of course they would because they're both like on metal and like it's just the physics of this. Like, of course, they don't make sense, but it's <laughs> it's fun how they make sense like in the context of yes. the like the thing. And and they wanted to like the train. And of course, the train's coming right now because she also studied the train schedule. Or she had to wait while they were like sleeping in the hotel, so she like studied up the timing. Oh, she's got the big brain sound. So yeah, so, like the first thing, Abdul, you magicians read to burn the track, and like that's he's like, going. Oh, that's, innocents will die. He's, yeah, he's, like, that's gonna call a train derailment and like just destroy <laughs> everyone. Would probably kill them too. <laughs> kill the, everyone, the train around them, and probably whoever's like in the area as well. But yeah, she and then Joseph tried to pull pull them off, doesn't work, and. We get like I just I just and we get the she goes I win does another oh ho ho laugh, and the the great like fucking plan and she's like I'm gonna kill jo- Jonah and Polnareff next and she, this plan was to burn through the fucking wood part to get a hole made, which and I, he melted through the sand too like yeah he, he melted like through hot like he it's gla- it should be glass <laughs> it should be glass yeah um but so the see the panel of them like under the rail is so fucking funny the, my uh the, my one po- podcast listened to they made they made a thing to say and be like like frozen air and everybody shat on them for saying that so they just make it a gag of like calling <laughs> call glass frozen sand i always laugh <laughs> frozen <laughs> it's like frozen air it's like not that but yeah you get her, you get her disgusting faces that she makes and they yeah, have she, to, she does the thing. And now that the train passed, they are free to burn the, the railings. Yeah, I think it's hilarious that immediately they're like, okay, no, it's well, cool now. We can do this. They do a cutaway lot. They have a team-up attack, which is really cool. Where, like, 
like oh, it's a really cool like, panel of like Joseph and Abel back to back. I it love is really it. Cool. And, and is, forcibly back to back. And Herna's not giving a shit with Hermit Purple around her neck, where we see her boobs inflate. This scene is like so ridiculous. <laughs> and we see like nipple, like nipples on it too. It's like but they get the famous like I think it was better in the anime where his eye comes out. I love how how far his eye comes out when he sees this. The anime does like a better version because she's like anime his eye like popping out is really good. So yeah, the, she has stuffed like a, an incredible amount nails of and bol- nuts and bolts nuts and, and bolts into her bra. And she's like, like, look at you and your dirty minds. Sorry to disappoint you. My breasts aren't growing. It's your magnetism getting stronger. <laughs> it's just a really fucking funny line. I love it. It is really funny. I I just love how prepared for her. She's like. She's just like always. She's a, ha- she's a utility belt. She's like Batman's utility belt. It's just having shit ready to go and like, she she's like I, Joseph takes like shots to like the chest and his arm too. Like you see blood come out. Like this fucking this is fucked up too. Like this is like not wounds he can like recover too easily. Oh, he'll but, be better. He'll get oh yeah, he'll, he'll recover in a day. And then so yeah, so they're gonna crush each other. Like they they basically came in there with like a plan essentially though. So he actually he did this before, but it's cool. He uses Hermit Purple to like create a map layout in the sand. I love that. He just it's a great like it's Hermit Purple just like because he can't take the sphere photo. Like, he gets to work like glass like sand drawings. Didn't he do this in Empress? Was that the other one he did it in? Yeah, we had the growth he... on it. He he basically grew a map to find like an oil drum essentially. Okay, that's right. I remember him using this before. I think it's a really clever use of his power because that's I mean that's what Hermit Purple does. Like it it's able to like create images that I... are like. Uh, I just love him and Advil making a plan like together. A prophecy, whatever. And just uh, like we can't escape her because even if we try to run away, she's gonna her power is gonna like, get can, like fuck us up. And he's like, I run away in the middle of a fight before it was all part of my strategy. Joseph and Joseph are never in this defeat. I'm going to keep fighting, which is yeah. great. I love fuck, Joseph is great. I love Joseph these Joseph chapters that we get. He's fun. There's, and then they split up, so their plan is to like cut her off. They're, they're, she's gonna go on, like a looped road, and they're gonna just gonna split up. And <laughs> I love that where they get away from each other by like Abdul like holding on to like a little pillar, and like and Joseph like pulling on a rock. It's like really funny. It's it's funny. But then there's a throwaway like, good. The locals are here. They'll tell the authorities about the track before the next train comes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what if they just like, didn't though? It's like this is the one line from Power Rangers when a building gets destroyed. And, like thank God that building was evacuated. Yeah. I was like thanks. But yeah, I like seeing her running. You see, like them just taking away, like this, like a ring from this very fat-lipped man. Yeah, he's like proposing to his wife. A man's bike is like the speed of this bike had to be taken away from this man. He's still in midair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. And it's still like on it, like it's still wheel, like driving towards them. We see dent denters fly out of a man, and we see uh, oh man, we see like. A oh, I of... love this joke with the dog eating on the leash, and uh, then it's like what's like, what's like a breed of dog that has like the very like. It's, it's like the very like smooth like 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 snout like it's like it's, oh yeah I don't know what the, that breed of dog is but. oh I forget what they're called yeah it's it, they're not like American bulldog no. terriers is that what they're called they're, some oh, they're called like I don't have my phone on me um they're they're there's something they're, yeah I know what you're talking yeah they have like the really it's like really weird looking dogs they have like a lamb skull shape like the way how like lamb skulls kind of like yeah. cave uh like they kind of like uh they're like more con convex. But yeah, uh, they catch up to her. She's like, "I got you into my plan, high voltage power line." And they all know high powered voltage lines are man- attracted to magnets. Yeah, everyone knows this thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they, but it was also all, all according to Joseph's plan and and Abdul's plan, which is just like, I, okay, I do like how like you know he goes about how great my power is. I do like Abdul saying, "I'm going to burn you, woman." <laughs> It's so fucking funny, and we see a car coming at him or uh, at Abdul, and right at the thing of like, you know, you're such a if I, you know, if it wasn't for Dio being so hot and great, I would totally be attracted to you, Joseph Joestar. All right, so is she like being serious here? Because in the last chapter, she called him a disgusting old man. Well, I think she's like playing with him in I the whole in the him. whole horse spinoff. Isn't she dating Kenny G? Is that true? She's dating. She's. I'm pretty sure she's dating either Kenny G or or, or yeah. She's. I'm pretty sure it's dating Kenny G. Why would she do that? Because she's a fucking weirdo with men. I guess she is a weirdo. She she attracted to Dio, but yeah, she's she's fucking quite charming. Which, that's correct. Like, we're decking that part, but I think we would have made a great good couple. I'm like, but Joseph would never cheat on his <laughs> wife with a younger woman, it's Jim. True. <laughs> Faithful as always, Joseph. Joseph He's a good man, but I like Joseph. Like, oh, you love me, right? You're gonna turn it off. I, your sand is so stronger, right? Uh, you're gonna turn it off and save me. He's like, no, your Dio's great, man. D- 
have you seen that the art of like her D I think her with Dio and Midler like they're both like on like Dio's holding Midler and, and she's like on his back and it's like a really uh, probably like, it sounds familiar it's a really cool fucking art he did like recently I think but yeah but it's actually like a Joseph plan which is to fucking crush her between two fucking like G Joseph and like a fucking car essentially because like, yeah they like him and Abdul are, it's crushing him be- her between him and Abdul uh which is funny it's like it's kind of like she kind of set herself up for this. I do like Joseph tries to do like a one liner, but he goes like, "She can't hear you. She's like probably she's unconscious. <laughs> yeah, Smash, like she broke every bone in her fucking body." And then they win, and they walk away like, "Yes, yeah, we get some fucking breakfast." Is it's hospitalized for the multiple broken bones, and then we see introduction to uh, Alessi at the very end, where he just beats the shit out of children when parents aren't around. Yeah, I feel like this this was like way more uh, of a. Sting. Intro to the next stand fight than we'd seen before. Like most of the time, it goes like right into the the next like page will be it. But this yeah. was like four pages of it, maybe. Yeah, four it's... or five pages. I was surprised, and yeah, it's kind of picking up because like Joseph uh, or no, sorry, Jotaro and Polnareff are like split up, and that's we know they're like the so he, and he's like oh while well, Mariah's dealing with those two, I'll deal with these two. And yeah, and that's where we left off with that. Um, I do have some. She's also Mariah's a character in, of course, Eyes of Heaven and inside um, what's it called? Hair or Eyes of Heaven and All Star Battle. Yes, not All Star Battle. Uh, Heritage of the Future. Also, she's not. I don't think she's in All Star Battle. Eyes of Heaven. Oh, she, did you say Eyes of no, Heaven? She's in. She's in Heritage of Heritage, and she's in Eyes of Heaven. I don't think she's in All Star Battle. I don't remember. But she, but uh, yeah, like and unlike Anubis, she wasn't very different from the the the, the, the Famicom RPG game where she's she teams up with Whole Horse in in that game though. That's the mm-hmm. only difference I think. But uh, yeah, she. I talked about she turns into an old woman, and she. I think her super in in heritage is like the she makes like two cars come in at you and crushes you. Oh yeah. And she fights like a range. She but she has a magnetism level, so you get up to eight levels with a magnetism, and she does more damage to you. Oh, that's as you get more your magnetism level up, I guess. She has she has a nice little me- mechanic or gimmick behind her, and she she summons like, your atlet to hit you and everything. She she has like the projectile to cover her fucking. <laughs> bolts nipples, coming out her nipples. yeah but overall i really enjoyed this it's <laughs> very fun best that's great mariah's great i'm glad she she popped up at the halfway house even though like, she recovered from all her broken bones <laughs> but it's a really solid design she's probably one of the best design part three characters i agree yeah might be the best i like that her stand is just like an outlet too it's as, the very it's as, really cool it's one of my favorite stands where like it's not much to it but like you the user has to use it as best as they can yeah and like i said it's just a cooler wonder of you a more interesting one <laughs> It's kind of funny how, like, a lot of people always talk about how, like, in Part 7, there's a lot less punch ghosts, and it's, like, kind of a departure from the series. But early in JoJo, like, Part 3, very few stands just, like, have punch ghosts as a given. It's kind of like a Part 4 thing. Because a lot of the Part 3 stuff is we got to find the user and beat them before the stand gets to us, which which was, like, you know, Tower of Grey was like that. It, 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 yeah, I'm trying to think. There weren't really, like, the punch ghosts were just, like, the, the like a physical, like, a physical little creature. Yeah, like of course, like I think Dio, Dio having the world kind of changes everything. Dio and like, you need to have like and even Vanilla Ice are like these are, are like the last two bosses essentially. Even Pet Shop, I guess, has like it doesn't really he doesn't use, no. Ghost, he, he he's basically ability. yeah, he just uses the ability where you have a visual for it, but like it doesn't not a punch ghost. Because then once you get into part five, it's like it's only our everyone main... is always fighting with their stand. It's it's, it's only our protagonists that really have the punch ghosts. Yeah, which is really it's a, I, I really like that though. Like and then yeah, like. Even like part six, I guess. I guess there's Alessi, always kind of a unless he's literally a put, like a shadow, mm-hmm. essentially. If I remember set correctly, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting how how it's 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 dealt with in this. I think. Yeah, it's funny. It's just like I I like weird stands that are like the user has to actually use pretty well to actually like. Yeah, I like the variety. I like that you never really know what's going to happen. Like, you can't really predict what's going to be next. Like it could be another punch ghost. It could be like, oh, this guy. It's, it's what a I sword like. That's what I love about the 1300s. Like, or I whatever. like about Grateful Dead and Beach Boy, where like they're not just punch goes. Like one's a weird fishing pole, and yeah. one and one's like he has to like get it to you slowly, but he can't just you know click it on like right away and everything. Yeah, that's like, a great one. Like uh, it's like my favorite kind of stands. Because once you just have punch goes, it just ultimately does become like okay, who's the better punch goes? Like it's more <laughs> or, fun when it's like ha- you're playing with the format. How is our hero going to punch ghost this away? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, and that's why I love Johnny having. Which unfortunately, that's kind of how Anubis ended. It was just like, okay, I guess Jeter will just punch Ghost. This but guy at least away. that that one was presented as an upfront battle. Yeah. Where like it wasn't just like ended by a punch barrage or like you know what what what, what was the uh the 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 fake Captain Tennille, uh the dark blue moon dark blue moon yeah that that one just ended up being like I'm gonna punch. <laughs> 
That one was well. The, he at least he had the gimmick of like being a water fast punch, underwater. a water punch ghost. Yeah, but even though he wasn't faster than uh, Jotaro underwater, which but, is hilarious. But yeah, these pests like this and Anubis have been fucking awesome. Like, I think I like the Anubis one the best. Still, that was still like my the most fun to read. I, I love upfront stand user, especially Mariah being like, "Yo, I'm in stand user, but I'm just gonna fuck with you and just walk away." Like, <laughs> yeah, she's great. And Ryan is just so much fun to watch. She's great. She has a great personality. You get her personality from her, like, perfect. Like, where, like, every, when her plan doesn't work a little bit, though, she gets, like, unhinged a little bit, which I kind of love. Yeah, it's good. It's fun. Like, she does exactly what you need her to do. And then, but I'm excited for Alexia like, Alessi because I know he's, like, the biggest piece of shit. But he had the, he had the personality, though. But we're going to get some weird. I'm not excited for the weird polar fetishy stuff that's in there. Yeah, I remember that part like really skeeved me out, so I'm not too excited about the next one. But like, yeah, but yeah, and he's like, oh, tits, <laughs> tits, fetus stuff. And yeah, I remember the fetus stuff. That was that's really uh, that polar penis maybe. I think really might be Pone seeing penis. baby penis. I do like the way he has, he looks like with the big tooth, like the he big looks buck like a teeth, big, the yeah, Timmy he's... Turner buck teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I think Mariah is one of the best. Uh, part three fights we had in this next. Year. I think the, the 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 Egypt arc has been like the best stuff. Yeah, from it's like this. it's it's really good. There's been like you know a couple here there from like the tarot cards early on, but this stuff has been like constantly like, really fun. And like I feel like this is probably like other than Death Thirteen, which is also just like a really really fun. Like not just a it punch because it's like a, it has a gimmick to it, and that's what I love. I love these like non non usual stand fights. Yeah, it's it's really good. Like I feel like he kind of really hits his stride with part three at the second half like yeah he really starts incorporating really fun ideas and of course the dio finale is awesome like that's just the best yeah and just having like okay i can go hard with these like actual like stand punch ghost things even though like dio has like bullshit powers as a vampire even he doesn't gonna use <laughs> no it's too much fun to use the stand they use the world it's like when you're playing a video game and like all the old mechanics are boring but you only want to use the new ones because they're fun <laughs> Oh man, but um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for for the more shit in this because we're gonna get. I think after this, we might get Darby afterwards, which very is excited. going to be very fun. Was also a non, which a kind of a gimmick that he uses repeatedly, not only in part three but part like four as well, and and part six of like just having like a like a, like a death game stand, mm -hmm. which is fun. Mm -hmm. I remember a lot about the Darby one because gam i remember that being really good because gambling and like debt stands are always fun because you they allow for very it's like the stakes are immediately super high it's these are high but it also allows for very like very uh what's the, what's the word i'm looking for like un Un unconventional yeah, unconventional like where you have a weird like rohan gets in a rock paper scissor game or jolene has to play a, a weird game of catch in prison like they almost kind of do it with the dice game too and uh yeah. the, the mickey taka yes arc it's just it's, it's always super fun, even even in a weird way of like of a shakedown road where it's just like a weird like yeah scam going on. I love shakedown road so much. It's it's, it's a, I'm glad Rocky like found this kind like found that we get to a Darby. We're not even there, but it's just a really fun way to do stand fights. Yeah, and like you can keep changing up, have different designs for them, but they're not the they're not the enemy here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think overall very good. I'm excited. Anything else you want to say about Mariah? No, that's really it. I just I thought this was really good. If you like Mariah, it's fun. definitely read uh, the whole horse spit off. It's great. Yeah. If yeah. you have it already, if you live under a rock. If you live under a rock. T I live under a rock with an outlet on top of it. <laughs> so uh, should I plug up this outlet? Plug up plug the it, outlet. Plug in the outlet plug, with, those, with those, in... those plastic uh, outlet blockers. Yeah. <laughs> to kill yourself. <laughs> to stop ch dumb children from sticking a fork in it or knives in it. <laughs> One of my uncles did that when he was like what? two. He was like two, and he got a fork, and he. Okay. My my grandma was uh watching him. <laughs> that makes it well, he's two. She was in the other room. Maybe he wasn't two. I think he was like four. My grandma was like watching when he got away, and she like was I in the kitchen, and the lights flickered. <laughs> <laughs> somehow how did he not die somehow he didn't die by shoving as being a baby and shoving a fork in so thankfully uh my uncle is still kicking somehow he somehow didn't fucking bumble his way to fucking electrocution as a fucking four-year-old yeah kids are dumb <sighs> yeah don't let children have uh stands stands <laughs> don't let children have metal forks when you have an open outlet what do you have a knife <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> but all right, right let's plug, plug the outlets in. all right thank you all for listening to part three i'm glad we're getting back into the format with these these have been it. fun i love part, part three has really hit the stride and i'm glad we're back into it yeah and uh with that you can like 
put your like on this video. You can put some comments on your part three or how your Mariah uh, like thoughts are about her. Uh, you can put. Oh man, my brain is fucking fried today. I know. <laughs> I'm like barely it's been holding a long, it together. It's been a long day, long morning. It's been like two days for me. I know. <laughs> uh, you can also follow the podcast on Twitter, be a gym separately. You can also join the Discord to talk about JoJo or I think certain mangas and or animes. You know, that's all that, all the little things. And with that, we will see you next time when we get to Alessi and Set and his giant fucking axe that he just carries around. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. See you next time. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>